Mr. Dave has been a mentor to me these past four years, and he deserves a bigger role in East Allegheny. Mr. Dave deserves a bigger role. He's more like a father figure outside of home, makes you real comfortable. You can talk to him about anything. He, he relates to a lot of stuff that, that we all go through. So, yeah, give my boy a bigger role. Right now? Yep. Appreciate you for helping me through my uh, mental problems and keeping me out of trouble and all the hood violence going on in life and keeping me 10 toes. Thank you. Y'all want to work? So, uh, how you feeling about Coach Dave? You know what I'm saying? He's a real, real inspiring dude, real, real down to earth guy. You know what I'm saying? He taught me a lot. Come here. Taught me, he taught me a whole bunch of the stuff I know. Come here. You know what I'm saying? Like, really was, really was the only person in the school that really was, you know what I'm saying? Talking to me real. That stuff. So, uh, how you feel about leaving, leaving, and not being able to see him anymore? Man, that's going to be tough, man, because he really was, you know what I'm saying, we got mad close over the years, so that's going to be real tough leaving. But uh, we we going to stay in touch for sure, you know what I'm saying? All right. Yeah. Uh, appreciate it, bro. Yeah, for sure. I appreciate Coach Dave for coming to my life and being an inspiration, and I feel like he should be around us more because he just brings a good vibe, you feel me? He just brings the life of the party. Like, he's just Coach Dave, and I appreciate him for that, you know what I'm saying? That's all I got to say. <laughs> How you feeling, Ace? I'm feeling great. Feeling That's great. What's up? How has Mr. Dave been influencing in your life? He's been an influence in my life by trying to keep me on the right track, make sure that I'm good, and make sure I'm always on my game, A game. All right. Mr. Dave made me a better man, a better basketball player, and just, he helped, most definitely helped my little, what's the word, adolescence? Yeah, he helped my adolescence group. We learned. A lot of lessons. Lessons about money, how to start a business, what we need, like what we need, like need, need, like our necessities. Uh, you know, how to be a man, what comes with being a man, just life lessons all around. All around life lessons. I wish that I had somebody that came to my school to talk to me about this when I was your age. I didn't have people around that looked like me that was willing to come do something. So the best investment that you can make right now is how people look at you. How they perceive you. Are you a good person tomorrow? Do you have good intentions in your heart? You understand what I'm saying? Do you want to love on your fellow man or you're looking to hurt them? Than you, that could be you. You can make it you. Just take the next step. You either go be with that person or either just push yourself to be ahead of that person. And don't be lazy for nothing. Anything you want in your life, you gotta work for it. Like, it's nothing else. Ain't no other way to put it. My man! It'd be like grandparents and shit like that, like the old motherfuckers, because that's how they was back My in the day. So they just, crazy, they like, they really do just be teaching their like grandkids and that shit, shit like is that. Taught, really, bro. That like, shit is taught, bro. That shit is taught 100%. Cool to see that. You ain't born, you ain't born like that. You ain't born thinking that shit. You were taught that way. And until that shit stops, but until they stop teaching that shit, ain't nothing gonna change. Bro. But, it's, but I'm gonna tell you, that says we're dirty. They think yeah, we're dirty. Yeah, but see, here's the problem, and and this is what I don't want to happen, but it, it does happen. Shit like that will make you hate white people. Uh -huh. Facts. They do. Yeah, so it make you hate white people. But see, oh, shit, when but then you look at them, and that's not them. Right. Yeah, that's my boy, my mentor. He showed me a lot growing up. Showed me how to deal with this grown up stuff, real life stuff, you know. So he can put me on, and I'm ready for it. I'm ready for everything all the challenges, all the trials, tribulations. So I'm ready for everything that comes at me, and I'm gonna take it forward on, head on. So I'm stoked for uh, Mr. Dave to be there for me since I was young, you know. Mr. Dave, thankful to have somebody like that in my life. Uh, been with him since I was in seventh grade. Seventh, eighth grade, I don't like that. But I'm happy. I'm happy I had him in my life. He showed me the positives and positive things in life and what I should be doing. And he showed me 
moves in basketball. I'll give you now, I'll give you now. I gave you some moves, some moves. But to be honest, like he, he made he made my life better. Made my life better. He showed me ways I can get money and go get jobs and do all that extra stuff. And how to be positive about it, help people, help the younger kids, and how I want to be when I grow up. Basically. All right. That's really about it. Yeah. This ain't about Felicia, man. Really? Yeah, but that's what's talking about. Need more, more uh, shit to get into. Like you need to have to do more to become a police officer. Like you, like the training is not enough. Like they need to do like psychological background checks on these people because the people that they let in the police force are fucked up. It's like the people, people are bad. That's because hold on, hold on, hold on. Who got hold on. a bully? Hold on. And now they're looking for revenge. Well, hold on. Is, is, is it anybody in here want to be a cop? Oh, oh, no. No. That's why it's easy to get in. Yeah, because yeah, because nobody want to be one. Nobody want to be one. That's a shame. Look at their reputation. Either way, we still call him. As a mentor, um, as a mentor, he's been great. Um, he taught me to through some really rough times. Like, whenever I didn't have nobody to call on, I could always call on Mr. Dave for multiple things. Whether it's uh, stuff going on at home, having trouble with the books, um, getting to it with my coach on the court. He was always there for me, and he's just been a great. He's been a great. I, I I'd honestly say a father figure in my life because I ain't had one growing up, so I could always, you know, depend on him when I need something. You don't give them a reason. That's why when they pull you over and you you got your hands on the steering wheel and you don't give them a reason, you don't do this. You don't reach. Right. Coach Dave influenced my life in a lot of ways. I mean, he, whenever I was a freshman, he like brought me out of my comfort zone. He seen I was too little, nervous, nervous little kid, little shy kid, didn't talk much. He really like made it so I could talk, be a local leader, and you know, grow into a better man and myself and do who I need to be in life. He shot him, he shot him like five or six times. Yeah, yeah, he ran. What cop you know is catching one of y'all? No, oh, wait. No, 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 no. So what's faster, his feet or a bullet? No, 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 no. It's a different thing. What was on your life? I mean, I'm what, 19 now? I met him going in to my first, I mean, I mean, freshman year. So what, I was 14, that's five years to the most. I mean, growth times in your life, he was there. As a big brother, a father figure, I mean, he put us on credit early. My credit's 750 now. I couldn't be able to do that without Mr. Dave. You know what I'm saying? I got my own crib now, 19. I mean, I'm on my second car. Unfortunately, I banged out, but I got a car the same day because my credit is crazy. Kudos to Mr. Dave. Yeah, man, he just be there. He always there when you need him. He gonna keep it real. He gonna keep it thorough. And I remember when we had Nobody in our class, we had like three people. He was like, come be the coach. He hopped up, came our, our basketball coach. Now they call him Coach Dave. How you go from mentor to Coach Dave in two years? How's Mr. Dave been important to your life? Mr. Dave, big part of my life. Uh, start from little things, uh, start from even rice, food, you know what I mean? Anything, even the, I don't even know. He, Dang, Mr. Dave, that's a big question. That's a big question. Well, I'm gonna put it like this. Mr. Dave helped with a lot, you feel me? He helped me get back and forth to places, and he helped me mentally just by giving me advice on the court, off the court, on the field, off the field, anything, and then I was sports. Mr. Dave, good role model. Mr. Dave, I mean.